Hey guys, what's up? It's Christian here back at you for a sneaker talk with a brand new sneaker review and today we are taking a look at the brand new Pharrell Williams tennis shoes. First off, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Christian. I upload a lot of vlogs, sneaker reviews, pickups, unboxings, hauls, all those kind of videos on this channel, and I do it daily. So if you're into that kind of content and you want some consistent, frequent, and quality content, I want to say, hit that subscribe button down below, or feel free to check out any of my other videos and you can decide then. Today we're taking a look at the brand new tennis shoes that Pharrell Williams collaborated with Adidas on. Now this is not the first uh, collab we've seen Pharrell and Adidas make. They've also done the Adidas Superstar line where they made like the whole color rainbow and then they also made the Human Race NMDs. Now those ones I want to say are the most hyped up Pharrell sneakers out there, most sought after Pharrell sneakers out there and these these give off a similar vibe to those but not quite. These have more of a casual lifestyle appeal. I feel like these Pharrell tennis shoes sort of give off that Yeezy vibe probably because of the prime knit upper and the similar lacing system they have, like with the same exact laces they use. And I don't know, it's just, it gives off a very similar vibe. So maybe if you aren't a total hype beast or you missed out on these sneakers, these might be more up your alley. These came out in two different colorways so far. Right now we have the white and yellow one and they also put out a white and green colorway. Very reminiscent, sort of basically inspired by the Stan Smith OG colorway. Now, there are a couple more colorways expected to come out for this sneaker in the summer and by the looks of it, it looks like they will be a very colorful batch reminiscent of the OG Pharrell Superstar collection with all of the rainbow colors. Before we get into the sneakers themselves, I actually want to show you guys the box to these things real quick. This is the Pharrell Williams Human Race box, I guess you could say. Uh, it's this like creamy, I want to say ivory kind of uh, shade of, I don't know, cream. <laughs> it has the uh, Human Race logo there with the triangle 2017 on the top. It's a lid that pops like this, so it's not like a slide out top, it's just like a it's, it's this kind of lid. I'm not a box expert, okay? This is sneaker talk, not box talk. Taking a look at the uh, label in the front of the box, here we go. Some uh, some delicious information right there for you. All right, cool. Let's get to the shoes. Now these sneakers retailed in Canada for $170. Now I feel like some people might think that price point is a bit high, but you gotta remember that Adidas did use a prime knit upper on this sneaker. And if you guys don't know what prime knit is, it is like Adidas's premium knit material for their sneakers so if this was like a mesh material upper I would expect the price point to be around 130 maybe 140 but because this sneaker does use primate I feel like Adidas was able to justify bumping it up to 170 at the retail price so yeah we just have a basic clean all white primate upper it will be a pain in the butt to keep clean so you want to make sure you know what you're doing that day before you throw on these sneakers the next standout portion besides the primate is this midsole it's really really different it really stands out Here's a look at the outsole as well. We got yellow, we got black, and uh, here's a look at these on fit, like on fit, on body, uh, with the full on outfit, so you guys can see how I would style these myself. These right here, really, really pop. If you're gonna wear this sneaker, I feel like you gotta have a more subtle, uh, toned down outfit because this will be, I think, the standout portion of the outfit. Now looking at the very back of the sneaker, the heel here, we have the Pharrell Williams branding along with the two stripes here, and I guess the Pharrell Williams line would be the third stripe. So we have three stripes essentially on the very back. And of course, you guys can definitely see the way this gold shimmers and shines. It's really, really glossy. It's a really cool finish. Taking a look closer at the primate of the sneaker, you guys can actually Actually see there are three stripes on the side so we got one two three and then lastly we got the white laces with this golden little touch on the uh, the aglet of the shoelace we got this like off-white beige cream tongue in this suede material the suede here is really 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 nice quality I think Adidas did a good job sourcing that material it also has that Pharrell PU triangle logo with that Adidas trifoil logo right underneath. Now, if you weren't feeling the white laces on these sneakers and you wanted even more color on it, these also came with some yellow laces as well. So if you wanted to get that pop of color, they got yellow rope laces ready for you in the bag. Now I wanna say one of the coolest things about this sneaker has got 
gotta be the insole. The insole has this like really detailed and artsy, I wanna say, design and print on it. It basically has like a diagram of a foot but instead of actually having parts of the foot labeled, it uses other body parts labeled on it instead, like lungs and heart and diaphragm and stomach. It's it's definitely different. It's a really cool touch. Now, in terms of comfort for the Pharrell Williams tennis shoe uh, human race, it is quite comfortable. At $170, you would expect some decent comfort, and these are definitely comfortable. The comfort level really feels similar to the Adidas Tubular Shadow that Adidas launched last year. And if you're a Nike head and you are thinking about buying these as well, the comfort is very similar to the Nike Roshi Run or Roshi 1 or Roshi 2, um, the whole Roshi line as a whole. It's not that boosty, absorbing feeling. It's a nice firm fit and uh, it just it just feels very comfortable on feet. Like you can wear these all day long, no problem. Your feet will not hurt at all. I would recommend going half a size down. I'm typically nine and a half to ten in most of my sneakers. I can go nine and a half in several Adidas sneakers, and this is one of them. So usually I'm a ten in like Nikes and Air Jordans, uh, but for this sneaker, even going half a size down in this there's still a little bit of extra room. So maybe you can go a full size down, but that just might be pushing it. It might be a little bit too snug, but definitely at least go half a size down on these. With that being said, that is the Pharrell Williams tennis shoe. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button down below and you know, think about maybe checking out one of my other 600 videos. I have a lot of videos out there and if you're into vlogs, I do a lot of vlogs too. And I wanna say they're pretty dope. And make sure you follow me on Instagram. It is at sneakertoxia. We're almost at 10K followers, so let's try and hit that milestone before my birthday. Catch you guys in another video. Peace out.